Is Landfall still good post Streets of New Capenna? Yes. Yes, it is. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well. I'm having a blast with this new set, guys. It is an absolute treat. Uh, this set is so, so good, in my opinion, uh, for a multitude of reasons. But today, we are jumping into a deck that was shared with me uh, from Country Fried, our good friend, partner in crime on the uh, Glorious Sunrise podcast. And look, we even have a Glorious Sunrise in the deck. Look at this. Um, this is basically a landfall deck that really takes advantage of a lot of new cards, uh, two new cards in particular. Uh, Devilish Valet, uh, which is very similar to the combo deck that we played yesterday. Uh, and Witty Roastmaster, which again is a big combo piece. So both of these essentially deal tons and tons of damage anytime creatures come into play. Now, this is not an infinite combo in the deck list that we ran yesterday. Spinaraptor created that one and that just straight up kills the opponent. This gets pretty dang close though, uh, with things like Scoot Swarm. So whenever a land enters the battlefield, you create a 1-1 green insect token. If you control six or more lands, you get more Scoot Swarms. So they all just exponentially grow. What makes that even better? Well, how about all of your creatures are also lands? Non-token creatures are lands. Uh, that seems pretty good. We also have some life gain aspect with Prosperous Innkeeper and Gala Greeters. Uh, we have got Phylath, which I haven't played with in a long time, but essentially comes into play with a lot of plant tokens, and then you're able to power those up. Uh, you do have Kazul Kazul's Fury as a way to uh, just throw the, val the, the Devilish Valet or the token uh, at the opponent and just get the win immediately. We've got Renin 7 to help dig for lands, a Sika's Chariot to copy the token on the, the Tree Folk token here. We've got Burn Down the House for a little bit of creature control uh, and Planeswalker control. Storm the Festival, of course, sitting at the top. Goldspan Dragon sitting at the top. Just stuff, man. This deck is sick. Country Fried, thank you so much for sharing. I will, of course, share your link down below. If you don't know who Country Fried is, guys, please go check him out. Again, not only a great content creator, but... Uh, we've we've partnered up with him on the Glorious Sunrise podcast here on the channel, and it's a blast. So I highly encourage you to check that out. But guys, this is a fun deck. I have tested it just a little bit. We're going to see how it goes today. Hopefully we can get a couple wins. Uh, but man, what a fun one. Let's go ahead. Let's jump in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. Uh, and this is certainly a interesting hand. Um, it's a risky keep, but you know what? We're here for, for risking it, guys. We're going to have some fun with this one. Uh, let's see what we draw. Ashai is not great. Honestly, we just need, like, mid-game stuff. The five and six drop slot is well taken care of at this point. Uh, all right. Looks like the reactor deck is what we are going to be facing today. That's fine-ish. Uh, let's go ahead and throw out the Gala Greeters. Hopefully, we can get this going pretty quickly here and uh, start creating some treasure tokens. So if we get like a Scoot Swarm or just any real three drop thing, we're in great shape. Uh, what's nice here is I can actually... And, do I want to? I think we'll just get rid of the Glorious Sunrise. I do kind of want to see if we can get there with this. Um, okay, sick. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and create the treasure token. Uh, that just helps us guarantee that next turn we can either drop a Shia or that Glorious Sunrise, both of which obviously are fantastic cards. Chances are they're going to kill that Scoot Swarm. Um, I mean, that, that seems like the obvious play to me. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Awesome. Uh, this is very, very good. They can go ahead and pay that, sacrifice the artifact, they get the thing, makes a lot of sense, and then they get to attack in here. I'm just going to warmly embrace three damage to the face. Um, all right, let's do this. Uh, again, I think we just go for the treasure tokens, honestly. Um, now the question is here, how do we want to do this? I think I'm just going to go for the Ashaya. It's like, I think the best. Um, we will gain a cut of life. Um, and there we go. We actually get all of the above, uh, thankfully. <laughs> Uh, so this is the power of the deck. It just kind of goes off now. Um, hopefully they can't remove both of the Scoot Storms, because if we can keep those around, we're in like amazing shape for the rest of the game. Uh, we actually do have enough mana to go ahead and storm the festival, so I'm glad we kept that. 
Uh, we actually have more than enough, but uh, that certainly is a great option to have here. And I don't think they're going to be able to fight through the Ashaya. Um, as well as just the life gain that we're going to be able to, to garnish off of the Greeters. We can get a Prosperous Innkeeper. We're in amazing shape. Like, we've got a lot we could do here. This is all just kind of fine. Um, again, this gets a little scary, but they're not really anywhere close to it yet. And, um... This seems like a not so great attack. I'm just gonna happily block like this, get rid of those, and we're great. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's really good. Um, now I think we're gonna still storm the festival. As much as I really like Phyla, <laughs> obviously it's a really good card. Uh, let's do this. We're gonna get to do all of these, so it really doesn't matter. Um, go ahead and crack this for green and store the festival wow that was really unfortunate um all right well here we go it still is fine because we still get to do quite a lot um do we want to go ahead and play the glorious sunrise yeah sure why not this set sets us uh even further above um because we can start gaining more life back uh and we can block pretty clearly with the scoot swarms at this point and it's fine it doesn't really matter um, next turn, we can probably just attack in and maybe win. <laughs> uh, we can. So one thing that Glorious Sunrise sets up is a play where we give everything plus one, plus one and trample, uh, which is, as it turns out, pretty useful when you've got big 10 tens, a bunch of little one ones. Like it's a it's a pretty clear path to victory. Um, I was going to say you can attack in if you want. That's totally fine. Oh, well, <laughs> all right, let's play this. Here's the thing. This is a land, <laughs> uh, which means these are all going to double. <laughs> all right, so watch this. <laughs> they also don't have the mana available to do this. All right, so let's go ahead and get all the Gallagreeters. <laughs> that doubles the power toughness. It has haste also. All right, so. <laughs> Country Fried, your deck is uh, pretty sick, my man. Um, clearly. All right. How? <laughs> it's a, uh, it's, it's real big. Um, all right, cool. <laughs> Let's go max damage, right? Oh my gosh, that was loud. All right. Uh. <laughs> that was the most fun thing in the world. All right, sick. We did it. Let's move on to game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Unfortunately, I don't think we can keep this hand. It's a pretty rough one. We don't do anything for so long. I, this is still kind of bad, but I'm going to throw this back with the intention of hopefully um, being able to draw into something. I'm, my thought process is if we can go four into five, we're at least in some reasonable capacity still in the game. Woody Roastmaster is at least a three drop. So now we've got three, four into five. So I'll take it. Um, looks like we're against the legendary deck, which is pretty terrifying, honestly. Uh, that deck is really good. Um, Woody Roastmaster into Asika's Chariot is actually really sick, though, um, because it does spit out two creature tokens, so we are actually able to kind of ping them down at least a little bit here. Um, we don't have a lot else we can do at this point, though. We're kind of in not great shape. Um, especially if, well, I don't know how much removal this deck runs. Now, it does look like they're playing the, the Riveteer version or Jund version, uh, for you old school players, which... I prefer. All right, they're going to go ahead and Thundering Review. Honestly, kind of okay with that. Uh, I think I'd rather them re uh, rebuke that than any other thing. <laughs> Shatter Skull Smashing isn't bad. Uh, it does give us, A, a burn outlet if we need it, uh, but B, an actual land that we can hit with the Glorious Sunrise here. So um, that seems pretty relevant. Sick. Glorious Sunrise can come down, and that'll allow us to storm the festival at some point. Very good. 
Uh, fortunately, they can't really safely attack. Oh, okay, sick. We don't even have to do that. Um, okay, so let's see what the play is. I think it's just this. Pretty safe. Um, let's go ahead and activate this. Um, and I will draw a card. Cool. We can like reasonably attack in here just to give us an extra creature token. I think, I think the way we lose is by not having blockers. Um, this is a scary, scary deck when it's, it gets going. So I think we need to, uh, token up as much as we can here. Next turn is probably like, we could just shatter skull smashing on the land side and then storm the festival. That's very good, but they spent their entire turn to do it. They did not attack. Um, interesting. All right, so I'm going to pay the three and we're just going to storm. Okay. Um, definitely a Shia. That seems really good. It's probably just Shigeki. Oh. All right, cool. We did it. We're amazing. Game three. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, and I'll try this. I don't love it. I'll be honest. Um, a lot of three drops, but we do have the Glorious Sunrise. This deck does run like a relatively high mana cost for a lot of it. So it makes sense that we're having hands like this. Um, go ahead and throw that out. This isn't a bad way that, to go though. We can get the Devilish ba Ballot out turn three, turn four, Scoot Swarm land, and get the extra token if we so choose. Um, I think I will just go ahead and throw this out. They can probably burn it, uh, which is kind of fine. I don't really care. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. And I'd much rather them burn that than a Scoot Swarm. So. Uh, knowing that they do have burn here, we do kind of need to be a bit careful. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how things go. Ooh, the Shia is so good. Um, ah, bit of a mistake. Um, I think we'll do this. Kind of just want to get Shigeki going so we can guarantee the land drops, I think. Um, so I think this actually worked out okay. It's not great, I'll be honest, but... Um, put the rest into our graveyard. Okay, well, we'll see what happens. This might eat a burn spell as well, but it looks like not the case. Oh, well, maybe. They could just... Yeah, totally. All right. So we are eating a burn spell, but they're kind of running out of stuff. This is a Zeatora deck, which is really sick, but... Um... Hmm. How how likely is it they're out of burn? <laughs> is the that's the question here, right? So we can play Scoot Swarm. Alternatively, we can just Glorious Sunrise, or we can Ashaya. I kind of like the Ashaya play weirdly. Ashaya is just big, right? Like that's kind of my thing. Is Zeatora doesn't deal with it. Um, burn probably isn't going to deal with it so this just seems like a bit of a wall that they're going to have to get through ah riveteer's charm okay see guys i'm telling you i know people were downing on the charms charms are sick that's all i'm saying uh they worked great there uh glad we didn't play scoot swarm i think we do really want to get this going but that would have 100 percent just killed it all right cool you got me um what do they have as a follow-up play is what I'm worried about. Nothing. Glorious Sunrise. Um, and I think that's just our best bet, sadly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I think we'll just gain three. We do get Glorious Sunrise into Glorious Sunrise. So like there is a world where we're just offsetting all the damage that they're dealing. Um, that changes the math pretty heavily, but we're, we're at least gaining some back, which is helpful. Um, kind of unfortunate draws. A land would be really good. Okay. What you got? Anything? Uh, 
Guys, this is a great opportunity to remind you to go listen to the Glorious Sunrise podcast. Um, we have a new episode every Monday. We just started it last week. It's been an absolute blast so far. We've really had a good time with it. I highly encourage everybody to check it out because it truly is just a, a, a blast to be able to do that with uh, Country Fried. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to hope we don't die. Um may not be great. We may just have lost ourselves the game, but I'm trying it. Oh yeah, we're super dead. <laughs> super, super dead. All right. So Zia Tora, if you don't know, is ridiculously good um, and definitely just going to kill us. So if we block like this, we lose three. I guess we're not technically dead. We're pretty dang close. Wow, okay. That was interesting. Um, what can we get? Storm the Festival would be pretty sick. That is not a Storm the Festival. Um, yeah. Gain six. It's literally all we can do. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We take. 10 and then they kill us. All right, now it's good game. I'm gonna go ahead and concede here, guys. That's unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. We were doing so well up until that point. That's okay, guys. Let's talk about this deck. All right, so first and foremost, thank you so much to Country Fried again for sharing this list with me. I hope that he has the opportunity to play it on his channel. I haven't checked yet because I'm pre-recording, so I don't know if he already has by this point. Uh, but if he has, go check it out. If he hasn't, go check out another video because he's he's making killer content constantly. It's awesome. Uh, this deck is very good. Uh, unfortunately, in that last game, we just got outpaced. Um, really cool to see some of the new cards, though. Uh, that, that Riveteers deck is a little less maybe treasure focused than the one that we put together, um, but it still obviously was very, very powerful. That Zia Tora is just amazing. Uh, absolutely love that card. Absolutely love the deck. It was great to play a Landfall deck again, a Scoot Swarm deck. I absolutely love it. And featuring the Glorious Sunrise. I love that. Uh, so all in all, really happy with this one. Two out of three, not so bad. I'm pretty good with it. So thank you so much again to Country Fried. Thank you to all of you for uh, watching this video, hopefully subscribing to the channel. Our giveaway is ending this week, so do check that out. Uh, May 4th is the deadline, so that's actually like Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Oh, I don't know, but it's very soon. So definitely check that out. And guys, thank you again. I really do appreciate any and all support. Love you guys very much. I'll see you again very soon.